We have a problem. What's up? The problem is this. There's a balloon expanding over Metropolis. Its radius is increasing at a different rate, which we have calculated up here. We need to figure out how this balloon is acting in order to shut it down. In order to help figure out how this balloon acts, we need to find the linearization at t equals 5.4 minutes. So we know that the linearization, the formula would be f of x plus f prime of x times x minus the estimated x. We know that f of x at t equals 5 hours is 30 miles plus f prime of x at t equals 5 hours, which is 2, minus the estimated time minus the original time in which uh, the radius was 30 miles. So we simplify this out. We get 30 plus 2 times 0.4. We get 30 plus 0.8, which ends up being 30.8 miles. We know that the value we found through the linearization is greater than the actual value because the R of T, which is the radius in which the balloon actually is, is concave down. But how about this? What if we find the rate of change of the volume of the entire balloon instead of the radius? So we know that the volume of a spherical shape is 4 thirds pi r cubed. So if we take the derivative of that to find the uh, rate of change, it'll be 4 pi r squared times dr dt. So we know that um, if we replace r with 30, because at 5 hours, the radius is 30 miles, then we know that dr dt is 2. So we multiply that by 2. That's squared. So if we plug all this into our calculator, we get 7,200 pi miles cubed per hour. We could use Rygram and Sum to figure out how much the balloon has increased in radius since its initial appearance. In this case, we use an integral from 0 to 12. When using Rygram and Sum, we use the areas of each point to figure out how much it has increased. So we use 8 plus 6 plus 2.4 plus 2.4 again plus 0.5, and we end up with 19.3 miles. As we know from the graph representation of r prime of t, it is slowly decreasing to zero. So when you do the right random sum, we also know that it's a little bit less, as you can see in these areas right here, it's a little bit less than the actual value of the integral between zero and 12. 